it's pretty courageous. I think um, the spirit that we b built amongst the players was there to see again, but um, we strayed away from what we've done well and that's why we're under pressure the whole game. Uh, credit to the Fijian side. They got everything right on the night. Starved, of us, starved us of ball and uh, probably cut us up a little bit in the areas where we've been strong. Oh, there's a couple of turning points. Uh, I think some of the first the opening gambits in the game set a trend for us. thought we got a couple of good sets away and then the kicks were fit poor on the finish. Um, we invited Fiji forward and uh, if you're going to do that then you're going to be in trouble because there's some fine athletes amongst them with some good skills. Uh, you know, there's, there's a couple of things in there. There's some individual stuff in there. There was some team, team stuff that broke down. Um, I think it would be uh, pretty cruel of me to start singling people out after the journey that we've had. I still sit here and I'm, re I'm really proud, even even in defeat, I'm proud of the guys because I, I, I don't know what the uh, the stats on the game will be, but I reckon we must have defended for fully 70% of the game. And, and and we defended manfully right through and, and we still had the energy to come up with a score. And, and for the team, I, I think that was just a little morale booster because uh, they'd have gone to the sheds with pretty you know, pretty little for their efforts if we, if we hadn't come up with something at the end. So it just suggested the spirit, but the spirit wasn't enough. Regular internationals is something that is important, but I also think in the domestic game it, it would be good now if we recognise what we need to do so we can we can put ourselves forward and play a better level of football at domestic uh, from, from the domestic island areas. Um, I've suggested to one or two people, you know, we need to try and look at the viability of having a national league side because we need to produce players who can cope with this kind of football. Um, and I think the sooner we do that, then uh, we'll be stronger as an international side and would be ready to take on bigger and, and, and more regularly the international sides. And it's, it's, the, it's the willingness of clubs to allow us to have players. You know, it's, the topic uh, quite commonly is how many games the players have to play. And I think if we, if we pay lip service, then that's what we should actually do. We should back that up and make sure that the players are available. What you don't want to, want to see is that we've come out of here and we're as strong as we could be, but we could be stronger. And what you don't want to do now is fall back away from that. If we represented as well in this competition, and I know we did, what we need to do is be able to grow and get stronger rather than be weakened by the inability to put the sides out due to club commitments. Um, uh, to be honest with you, it's, it's the suggestions from the Rugby Football League back in England, how different scenarios and different competitions that might be run, but we've got nothing definite yet. I would hope that there's something put in place quite quickly and uh, it's, it's a viable competition that we can all take part in and benefit from. Um, I understand that there's another World Cup possibly in five years and that, that's a good learning period for the island team and if we can get regular international fixtures I'm sure that we can go beyond what we've done this year. The, um, the subject to the Rugby Football League and how they see England are best served because that's how it will be decided. Uh, it'll not be decided on what's best for Ireland, but we'd be more than welcome to be involved in that. I think it would be uh, something that the public would be interested in. Uh, the last World Cup when we played England in a quarter-final at Headingley, uh, you might be able to pull the crowd out statistically, but it was between 13 and 15,000. So there is an interest there, but we've got to buy into it. you know. And, and I think Ireland's improvement and regular international fixtures would help England as well. If we can if we can put a side out that represents what we've done this time, then the intensity of the game would serve England as well as any any other home nations. Andy, would you be able to at any rate uh, tonight against your previous two games? We, very different. We knew that the uh, we, we knew the Tongans the Tongans believed in the physicality and we knew we could cope with that. And again, the Samoans, they had the same physical uh, approach, but again, they, they played with a little bit more uh, structure. Whereas the Fijians were tonight, they, they, they promote the ball, they've got good feet. I think they've got some great athletes. I think overall, they were the most enthusiastic, the most um, athletic, uh, and uh, probably the most skillful of the three sides. Um, and again, we're probably understated in the competition. I've been impressed when I watch the games from the, the group stages against France and Scotland. I've been impressed with some of their athletes. Pretty much. Hey, well done. Yeah. Yeah.